So I guess this is more of a um, torn down video than a tear down video. Um, but uh, this is a, a DLP projector. Um, so it uses a DMD, which are these little tiny micro mirrors um, to direct light through the optics and onto the wall to project an image. Um, I was kind of I've been kind of interested in uh, um, DMDs uh, because they're they're cool and I would like to be able to interface to one directly. Um, so I tore down this projector and I've been playing around with it and trying to trace out some of the signals and figure out what's going on. But it's quite an interesting unit and it, this one was is broken. It was just dead pixels on the DMD. Um, so it's quite cheap off eBay. I've got two, two of them for um, 30 or 40 quid or something. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know if you can really see how it actually fit together, but obviously this is the, um, the optics, uh, the lens to, to focus the image that's ref reflected off the DMD, which sits behind it here. Um, there's a light source over here. This is the high voltage, well, I assume it's high voltage, I don't really know. Um, presumably the, the high current anyway, uh, supply for the um, for the lamp, which I think is a mercury lamp of some kind. And this feeds into this color wheel. Uh, so there's no kind of, um, you know, the, the mirrors are either just on or off. So this spins around really fast. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to see it going. I can try. I'll try and power it up when I'm talking. Um, it doesn't help if it's not plugged in. Um, but so that spins round really fast anyway, and um, it uh, basically the the mirrors are are switching in time to the colours. So when like the the blue. Um, when the blue filter, oh, there we go. Uh, so you can see it spinning around. Um, so when the blue filter is kind of uh, in front of the lamp, uh, the mirror will switch so that it displays the blue, um, it, you know, the blue component of your image. And then it'll get going around so fast that um, it will again get around to the red and display the red. And your your visual system will kind of mix up the blue and the red. Um, and create a new color so that's that part of it um, going into the, the mirror and then being reflected off the mirror and onto the optics um, and this I would guess is just a brushless DC motor um, there seems to be some optical feedback uh, in there it doesn't work unless this little board is in place the system also doesn't actually work unless there's something where the lamp is so I have a big pile of um, uh, resistors over here, <laughs> which occasionally spark um, uh, in place of a lamp, and that seems to work. Uh, before that, I had the lamp in play, and you can see it just it, this thing gets incredibly hot. They must be very inefficient, and just burnt a massive hole in my desk. Um, uh, the module itself is kind of cool. The the mirror module is quite amenable to um, fiddling with. In that it's on separate daughter board, and this is socketed as well. So this thing whole you know comes out. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting to fiddle with. Uh, I I traced through a bunch of the signals. It's really easy to see um, what looks like the the blanking, the mirror bias, and the reset. Um, and that's like plus minus 20 volts, so it just stands out and you, it's really easy to see. And that sits along this, the smaller part of the, the header here. The data that's going over here appears to be LVDS and took me a bit more time to figure out, particularly as I've not looked at LVDS before. Um, and I ended up kind of hacking uh, a couple of little bodge wires um, on here and then using... Uh, technique that Mike from Mike's Electrics, uh, Electric Stuff uh, suggests of making a little um, probe to uh, to measure LVDS signals. Um, 
yeah and i've posted some of those to um the blog post on this uh on this teardown and reverse engineering but it's going to be an awful lot of work to to kind of go through all the lvds channels and figure out exactly what's going on so i don't know if i'll do that um it's all all the ld uh, ldvs and everything is is uh, generated by this uh asic uh, which is called the ddp 2230 um and obviously uh ti don't provide a data sheet for that um does look like there's a leaked data sheet around somewhere i found one on the chinese website but i can yeah i could only see a preview and couldn't download the whole thing which is a shame um but yeah i thought it was kind of interesting um it would be nice to get a bit further along with it it would be nice to be able to control basically the dmd directly i feel like you know these mems devices have potentially some really interesting applications so yeah anyway thanks very much